another exercise which is on plane table. Plane table serving or plane table. So in plane table, we carry out the mapping work to the plane. So instruments which you require for this particular exercise is plane table. LED, measuring tape, you also require sometimes a level, star, flag, jhandi, we also call it jhandi, you also require plumbing, pot, magnetic compass, no magnetic no direction. etc. So here what we do is we prepare the map with the help of the observations which we have taken so far. We go out in the field and set up our plane table. And first of all we will center this plane table. This is the first step. Center it over a known station or a known point. Let us say E is my control station whose coordinates are going to be. So I center this with the help of a plumb ball or using a plumbing cork, I will center it and the position of A is known to me which is already plotted on a drawing sheet. This is the position of A. The second step is the orientation. I will orient the plane table top with respect to magnetic norm. So I already know the magnetic north direction because the coordinates have been computed using the magnetic north and east as the coordinate system. So this is the second step. I will orient the plane table with respect to the magnetic north using a magnetic compass. Or sometimes in alley data also there is a small magnetic label fitted and we keep the alley data on it along the north south line and orient the plane table top. And the third step is the plotting one. So in plotting part, very simple way is that if we know the direction of any object on the ground with respect to A, if I know the distance, I can plot this point graphically or not. So there are various methods which we are using for plotting the details. So there are four methods which we are using in the plane table, but the most popular method is the radiation method. In the radiation method, if we know the direction, if we know the distance of object, we can plot that object from the plane table and prepare the engineering maps. While plotting the details, at the same time, we are doing contouring. So with the help of these contours, which are the points of equal elevation, we will know the elevation of different points and we can calculate the slope between the points. So if you understand this exercise, I will explain the different parts of the plane table, how we make it.